stars are blinking in Morse code. They have a message for us all. S. O. S. I stared in disbelief. The stars had started blinking just after midnight, slow, steady, and methodical. Most people are too caught up in their lives to notice the sky, but I was different. Life had been tough for me. No one stayed around for long. Not my parents, friends, or the few girlfriends I had, they disappeared one by one. I turned to the stars as a refuge. The thought of an infinite universe filled with immense beauty comforted me. Somewhere out there must be someone like me, or so I hoped. After years of calling out to the stars, they were calling back. With a pen and pad in my back pocket, I climbed to my roof and translated the message. Three short bursts of light, three extended flashes, then back to the triplet of short bursts. The rest of the town was bathed in darkness. In a rural agrarian town most were early risers, they'd be long asleep by now. I was probably the only one awake who'd be able to receive this message. The rest were blissfully unaware of the events unfolding. I wondered how many other outcasts, with their heads stuck in the clouds, were watching like me. My breath was shallow, heart thumping in my chest. Sweat dripped down my brow and soaked my collar. I could barely believe what I was seeing. The universe was shouting in unison, and its message was far from comforting. For the first time in my life, I wished to be looking anywhere but the sky above. A burning thought burrowed in my mind. Why would the stars be asking to be saved? I could only imagine what they feared, it conjured terrifying images. A universal horror spreading out of control. What in God's name could it be? The night sky is a tapestry of the past. Depending on their proximity to Earth, it can take anywhere from 9 to millions of years for a star's light to reach us. Whoever was sending this message had done so long ago. That didn't ease my anxiety, if anything it made it worse. It meant we were receiving their cries for help far too late, or was it a warning? Until just before dawn, the repetitive blinks continued unabated. I was fixated, staring at the repeating message unblinking. The hours passed like sand running through my fingers. My mind was on fire. An existential dread filled me, unlike anything I'd ever experienced. The universe felt much smaller than before, and that scared me to death. Just before the sun reclaimed its place in the sky, the stars started to extinguish. It spread across the different galaxies like a plague. One by one they disappeared from view until all that was left was Sirius, the brightest and one of the closest stars to Earth. A brilliant flash exploded above me, and then it too was gone. Trembling, I stared at a blank canvas. It was a new moon that night, so there was no light to be seen. Darkness had taken full control. I shuddered to think what foul creature could have stolen such precious jewels from the sky. I was watching the void of space, the great nothingness, expand at the speed of light. What was hiding in the void? As the sun finally rose, my jaw dropped to the floor. I looked on in horror as it too was blinking a familiar message. This time though, there was an additional communication tacked on. S. Oh, yes, they're coming for us next. 